Hello, I'm Bruce McMakin with PBA Galleries in San Francisco, auctioneers and appraisers of rare books, manuscripts, photographs, maps, ephemera, and related materials. Among PBA's regular offerings are fine antiquarian maps, ranging from the 16th through the middle of the 20th century. These maps, which are often included in our Americana and travel auctions, present a unique view of the evolving world as explorers from Christopher Columbus to Sir Francis Drake to James Cook and others gradually peeled off the layers of ignorance to reveal the globe as we know it today. They also represent artistic and typographic developments through the centuries, as well as giving insights into the nature of commerce. PBA's auction on January 16, 2014, Fine Americana, African American History, Travel and Exploration, Maps and Views, will include over 150 lots of rare atlases, maps, and prints showing all regions of the world. Among those under discussion here, the earliest is this important map of the Western Hemisphere by Michael Mercator, grandson of the famous mapmaker Gerard Mercator. The map was first published in 1595, with the present example dating from either 1633 or 1639. It shows the continents of North and South America with remarkable detail only a century after their discovery, surveyed with the rudimentary instruments of the day. North America extends much farther to the west than it should, and a curious bulge on the west coast of South America that prevailed for many decades has not yet faded to oblivion. There is a vast southern continent, Terra Australis, which was to appear on maps through the 18th century. The map is estimated at $4,000 to $6,000. This world map from a Dutch Bible published in 1682 shows some of the elaborate pictorial decorations that embellished maps during the 17th century. The border areas of the double hemisphere map include classical scenes representing the rape of Persephone, Zeus being carried across the heavens in an eagle-drawn chariot, Poseidon commanding his entourage, and Dem Demeter receiving the fruits of the earth. California is an island, a misconception that began to appear on maps around 1624 and prevailed well into the 18th century. Relatively modest in value, we expect the map to sell for between $500 and $800. The third map under consideration is this rare and highly collectible map of North America by the British cartographer Herman Maul. It is known as the Codfish Map for the marvelous pictorial representa representations of ye manner of fishing for curing and drying cod at newfound land. Published in 1719, the map shows California still to be an island, even though the findings of the Jesuit priest Eusebio Kino, published in 1705, proved it part of the mainland. The map should sell between $5,000 and $8,000. Finally, we have this very large map of Manhattan, the Sanitary and Topographical Map of the City and Island of New York, published since 1865. The rare and iconic map is noteworthy for showing the original land and groundwater characteristics of the famously built-up city, including streams, ponds, and wetlands, reservoirs and landfill, and the location of piers, streets, aqueducts, and sewers. The map bears an estimate of $6,000 to $9,000. Again, this auction of fine Americana, African American history, travel, and exploration it will take place on January 16th, 2014, with the catalog currently posted online at www.pbagalleries.com. There is a live bidding over the internet during the auction, pre-sale dynamic absentee bidding through our website with email notification if you are outbid, and you may contact the galleries to arrange telephone bidding for specific lots. Thank you.